In the last two videos, I've been working hard to recreate Hogwarts from the movie series Harry Potter. Thus far, I have recreated the entire Mount and the Forbidden Forest. And in today's video, my goal is to recreate the Chamber of Secrets and a full Quidditch pitch. And trust me, this video gets crazy. With so much to do and so little time because I'm moving to college, let's get started. First off, when starting any project, I'm going to be starting with a resource gathering. Which, if I'm being honest with myself, it's going to take a long time to get everything I have to gather. However, from the last two videos, we do have quite a few farms that we can use. The main resource that we're gonna need is stone, which means I have to AFK more. Haha, <laughs> sweet! I forgot I had all of this extra from the mountain video. I'll just throw these in the janky super smelter, and I'll be back when it's done. Next on our list for the chamber of secrets is... Oh, it's it's all different types of stone. Okay, scrap that! Let's move on to things that we're gonna need for the Quidditch pitch. Oh, dang, that's, that's a lot of different kinds of materials. First off, let's get all the wood that we're gonna need. And to make our lives easier, let's go look at the storage system. Just to make our life a little bit easier. Sweet, we got all the normal oak wood we're gonna need. Ooh, and even some jungle wood. That's gonna save us a lot of time. Ooh, and it doesn't look like we have any spruce wood. But if I fly towards the farms areas, we still got a spruce farm, which, yup, is still stocked from the last video. I'll be taking that. All right, with the witch up to our list, we can go to the terracotta. Wait a second. Every video, I just go around, recording myself repeating the same task over and over again. Building farms, mining materials, building blocks. And what's it all for? What am I doing here? Am I really where I need to be? Is this really what I want to be doing? Oh, hey, I'm done! Shh, you heard nothing. Alrighty, with the terracotta done, we can move on to the items like the sand, another brick, wool, and some of the other bits and bobs of the build. So let's go! Alrighty, we got all of the items that we're gonna need. Oops, I almost forgot about the stone. It looks like it's all smelted up. Oh no. We still need a bunch of cobblestone. And I smelted all the cobble. Oh no. Okay, after that small misfortune, we have all the cobble and that completes all of the items that we're gonna need. Ah, crap. I just realized something. All of our resources are in a bunch of different areas around the world. We have some here, some with the super smelter, some with the storage system, some with the farming area, some with the nether, and even some at the Mesa. So I'm gonna need to transport all of those items back into Hogwarts. So I'll be back when that's done. Sweet, all the items have been transported. From what it looks like, we're gonna have to start building underwater for the Chamber of Secrets. Ugh. This is gonna be a pain. But I'm in college now with nothing else better to do, so let's get started. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. Saying it was a pain would be an understatement. But for now, we got a lot of the base layers done. That way, no water should be getting in where we don't need it. Now, it's time for everything else. So let's get it finished. Woo! <laughs> Didn't think I would make it that easy, did you? Before we finish this first build, I want to thank you. You are the sponsor for these videos. So if you are subscribed, thank you so much for all the support I get on these videos. I recently scaled up everything about these videos and it's crazy the amount of feedback that I've been getting because of that. Also, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? On this channel, I have built the whole Ministry of Magic and in the next video, I'm gonna be building all of Hogwarts. And let me remind you guys, this is survival Minecraft. What's better than that? So please, please, please like and subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, enough sellout, let's do this. I'm letting go. I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down If you want adventure, then fly to home But if you want to travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go I'm tired of
<laughs> we got the whole thing done, and this thing looks awesome. We got all of the smaller statues of the snakes done, and they're all submerged in water, and we even have an amazing looking basculus, which if you don't know is the giant snake from Harry Potter, alongside this monstrosity of a face. With all of this done, we can now move on to the Quidditch pitch. And with all of the items already transported, let's get right into the building process. A project this big would normally take me about three to four days to finish it. No, 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 not on this one. I did this whole thing in just one day, and it was an eight and a half hour long time lapse. Eight and a half hours that you all just saw in just a few seconds. <sighs> if that doesn't deserve a like and subscribe, I don't know what does. However, with all of this being done, I think I'm gonna end this video. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. And for that, you get a cold sticker. <laughs> But for real, thank you. And if you want to watch the next video where I build Hogwarts itself, click this video. Or if you want to go watch the other two previous videos, you can do that here. Or I don't know, maybe this video is better. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. See ya! <clears throat> don't forget to like and subscribe!